shoot. I think I, as an artist, I've grown substantially by knowing how to market and brand myself. That's the most important thing. And then learning about with my rollouts, when you put it out, you gotta have the aesthetics with it, which is another reason, like I said, why we're sitting here right now, to bring your attention and focus back to the series and not let it go over people's heads in this internet age, man. It's like you're just spitting so many projects out. People just want the next thing, the next thing, the next thing. And I got a lot of more work coming too, right? But it's like, so you don't forget the work that's been put out and what's to come. So I think uh, that's really what I've learned is uh, how to attack different areas other than this. It's a lot more areas than just me writing, recording, performing that I got to do. You know, and like I said, I learned a lot of that by seeing how first moves. And, you know, he's on his gorilla grind. He got his whole structure mapped out as to where, you know, it's not just making the beats and mixing and, and sending them outside. It's a lot of other stuff you got to do when that's done. So you have been working at it for that, really. No, I appreciate that. I mean... You bigger me up a lot, but I feel like as far as my growth goes, it had to do a lot internally for me. I mean, to get to that professionalism, I feel like I've definitely grown with that. Like, I'm more mature um, just personally. So with that, I'm able to have a better idea of, of setting my time for people, to put the time aside for people to be more constructive with time and not wasting time, because that's what I was doing a lot more when I was younger. So I feel like the focus is, is definitely up. And um, now I'm able to, like you said, I got a better business mindset and I'm able to, to look at projects and create them and map everything out from like an executive producer standpoint, other than just like giving out people just random packs and it's just not doing nothing. So I feel like now we got something that's moving and we're able to actually be more constructive with it. So I feel like that was my biggest growth. As far as musically, I'm always buying new equipment, I got different tricks in my bag for this one. I feel like the, the beats are have definitely been inclined. I feel like his rhymes stepped up. So it's just overall just a, a better project than the original one. Not to say the first one's bad, it's just that growth is, is definitely there on both ends, on the rhymes and the beats. Yeah, man, it's an experience. The Dirty Dollar Bill series is an experience for real. You go into it, you got to leave, hit that buddy, run it, run it back again. You know, you're in the house studying your cyber security or whatever you want to do. You got to exercise. Put that on, man. You better trim your head. Just put that on your headphones. I love Anonymous. If I got picked, so it's like 15 songs. It's 15 songs we did. I pick, I pick like three. So I pick three. I pick four. <laughs> three, I'll pick three. Yeah. I say Ah man, I love Anonymous, I love 25 Riders, I love C. I really like the process, the song, the process, we've been talking about the process a lot on the new joint, um, the rapping adrenaline pack, um, between probably them two and then it's just, uh, <laughs> Good evening, another song. I'll probably say those five. There those you five. go, the top five. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta say five, like a third of the series. That's fair. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Five out of 15. Nah, it's fair. I was, before I even get into my list, I feel like, like we were saying, you got a lot of different, it's a lot of different ways, a lot of different vibes. So it's like, you might be feeling a certain way. And so today, you feeling like this is your one. And then you might be feeling a little differently. Yeah, another songs day. don't sound the same. They, it's, it's, they fit. Mm -hmm. But it's not like just the same type of record across the nah, board. Yeah. That's what I'm so saying. It like, yeah, on what the flavor is for the occasion. Yeah, you got a whole bunch of it's a big, big variety of tracks that you got there. So my personal favorites, though, I probably say I like Anonymous, like you said. Twenty Five Riders is definitely up there. Good evening. Good evening might be my favorite off the, the second joint. And um, we got visual coming soon too for that. Mm -hmm. Number seven is one of my, I think I feel like that's a sleeper joint. Yeah. yeah, number seven I got a lot of good feedback from that when the victory came out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and um, check these records out too. Everything that you mentioned is on all platforms, you know, on all retail. So on my website, on his website, so you can find it. Rapping the general impact will probably be number five. That's, like, that's one of the ones where, like we were saying, that's one of the ones you really 
broke down the beat. I'm building the beat as the beat goes along, and then you just attacking everything that's getting added to it. So it's it was like, fun writing that. Yeah, yeah, it was fun writing that. It's fun writing all the beats. It's something I really, really like. When I get into that pocket, I can get, I can get loose. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like we kind of already got into that a little bit just by saying how unique both of us are. Like it's, it's beats that are different that you haven't really heard just by one of the one of the things coming up with production. I was in a lot of beat battles. A lot of times the beat battle be they give you a sample. So it's a whole bunch of producers, like 50 producers. They all got the same sample. You know you're not going to win if you're just looping something. You got to do something unique with it. So like just building off of that, that's how I'm, every time I got a sample selection. I'm I'm not looking for the easy loops. I'm not looking for something easy. I'm trying to make something out of it. So I feel like with that, he got something unique to go on, and then just his style alone is unique. So he's got the the crafty cadences that's going to match the beat. What I gave him the way it should be, and then the chemistry of it together is just something unique that I feel like everybody else is just. You can expect the same cadence. You can expect <laughs> the same kind of beats. Same that, kind that of thing. Nothing wrong with that. I guess. You know, nothing wrong with that. Is cool, but we not no run trick ponies. What nah, I'm saying. Nah, nah. Hey, look, man. That's basically <laughs> everything that he said. And for me to piggyback off of that, I feel like not being predictable, having a lot of versatility is really just going to make this stuff last. You know. And, and with the landscape of music right now, it's a particular sound that people expect or anticipate. So it's refreshing to have something different. That's what it. more authenticity uh, they keep talking about it all the time but it got to be fly though we even know the whole system and how things work with you know shock value and clicks and you got to be intriguing in an aspect of some violent or some you know what I'm saying triple X right and if it's not that and it's the real even though it's fresh and fly and figuring they got it you got to have something stick out to bring people back so, I mean, that's just it. I feel like more of authenticity and, you know, just being positive, and, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Shit like that, being yourself. Mm -hmm. Right now, you know what I'm saying? I mean, the women is killing the game with, with you know, certain type records, and I, I would never hate on that as far as the mainstream is concerned, but the underground still thrives, and so, you know, there's a pocket in the lane for everything, right? Yeah. Yeah, I like some more of this real shit. Yeah, hey, I ain't gonna <laughs> knock nobody's wave. I mean, it is yeah. what it is, but I feel like you said the number one thing, because of social media and everything like that, a lot of stuff is clickbait. Nobody's being real. Everybody's doing whatever is towards the algorithm. So you're not getting anything different. Everybody knows what is going to pop. So they're doing whatever Instagram or whatever is the telling game. Yeah, it really is more about the numbers than about being yourself. And I feel like, I mean, we people that are not going to get nothing fake from us. So we just going to be ourselves. And that's what's going to separate us apart and I feel like you said it that that's the major one thing is everybody out here being fake and we're, not, we're getting something that we don't really you can't really consume all that fake it's rough bro yeah. because you know you find out the game it ain't all 100% fake but it's, it's wrestling it's a lot of stuff it's just you know entertainment controversy sales type deal so understanding what you're dealing with uh, knowing how to navigate will help you navigate through things you know so it's not like you're stuck in the weeds you can kind of just like chop through tall grass and still be able to you know carve out a destination and, and make your own lane which is what we're doing mm -hmm. well uh, to piggyback off of what we were saying the lane that we're carving out is going to teach people that they can stick to what they've been doing and you don't have to follow a particular formula because right now a lot of things sound the same too. Like, and that goes with authenticity. You know, it's, it's a part of the algorithm, right? You know, if you see a specific formula, you want to kind of try to follow that formula as a means or like a guide or road to success. But, you know, the way the game is anyway, it ain't, you got to put money up in this game to get money out of it. So I wish, wish people would even like just stop making music unless you really love it. <laughs> right, for real. That's what yeah. I, like, yeah. what the hell are people doing? <laughs> <laughs> nah, that, that's yeah. really messing up the game. And then the pay to play situation is really messing up the game because it's like, 
you got a lot of talentless people that might have the bag or are able to make those kind of marketing moves where you got really talented people that they're not gonna they not they don't have all that to put up into it or they don't you know what I'm saying it's a longer pathway to get to that point and that's really where you've seen a lot of talentless people get in the door quicker than the people that really got the talent the game is the game Well, it's a three-part series, so we're going to start. I'm going to send you that number three pack. Okay. Eventually, you already know that's on the way. Man, look, I want to say, first of all, again, y'all can check my dog's beats out on his website. You know what I'm saying? He got the Sweet 16 series, too, for any uh, aspiring upcoming artists. If you want to kind of try to see how we patterned or listen to the blank canvas before there's actually any of my vocals on some of this stuff. You know what I mean? You mm -hmm. get an idea. I recommend checking that out. Um... I want to get the visuals for the uh, good evening, right? So for Dirty Dollar Bills, that's probably going to be the next thing that we drop uh, in regards to that series. I got uh, this project with Cash Fargo coming out, Cash and Delivery, a small EP. That's going to be within the next month. And I got another one from my dog C's. Shout out. Uh, both of these cats really looked out and getting sent some good feedbacks packs that are totally different from the sound that I got reversed. So you're going to be able to hear them. Different journeys on those joints as well, but that's the play style playlist, and that's gonna come out in the winter sometime. So, we got a lot of shit to do. I need you to figure out how to do these songs live, shows, you know what I'm saying? The work don't never stop, man. We need merch. Merch. That's what I'm coming with. Merch. That's what we playing. That's what's good. Yeah. As far as the B tapes go, I got the, um, like you said, Sweet 16 is already out there. Um, I got another series with the homie Illa Styles that's on part two that should be coming out, the Illaverse part two. We got um, the March Madness Beat series. I'm about to put all, put all those out on all streaming services. Yeah. So it's four of those right now. I'm going to drop probably like the first three in March, and I'm going to do some new ones in March. So Shout out to the homie Illaverse, too. I appreciate y'all series. Too. Yeah, I it looks man. Two years. It's a whole different sound. Yeah, yeah. I mean, same kind of... I'm doing whole joints, so if, if somebody looking, that's what I'm really looking for is, is, is a whole project. That's what I'm serious. looking for. You got to be serious, though. Yeah, so, definitely, man. definitely. Peace and blessings to everybody, man, even if you hate me. I appreciate you, uh, you know, because it's going to be motivation no matter what. I'm the type of cat to turn my frustration into motivation anyway. So we always got to try to be solution oriented, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to everybody that supports, sharing, downloading, you know, uh, what, streaming, all of the above. You listen to so we're not going to stop, so you might as well, you know, if, you, if you're going to be looking from that, you know, the bleachers, man, come a little bit closer, you know what I'm saying? We got tickets right now, some tickets is free, but eventually they're going to be costing a lot of bread, so you might as well, you know what I'm saying, see if you can get on this list, you know what I'm saying? You feel me? <laughs> Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Just appreciate everybody for tuning in. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the homie Dirty Cash for letting me be a part of his wave. And we got plenty more to come. Plenty more. Check out gbossproductions.com. Follow D-E-R-S-G-B-O-S on all, all platforms. Oh, yeah, that's Dirty Cash on all platforms, at Dirty Cash. And when you're searching my shit on the internet, it's Dirty Cash with Cash with a dollar sign. Cash with a dollar sign. Cash with a dollar sign. <laughs> <laughs> they say you say it three times and that's how you get, you get it in their head. Yeah. <laughs>